Once upon a midnight dreary, well I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. So who could that be at this hour? Hmm. Probably that... I'm guessing that girl that I saved from the man who was slap slap snapping at her face some more. But yep, <laughs> fix your fix your tie. Is it no it's Big B Snow Snow White. Come with me. What? Okay. Snow. Snow <laughs> What? Talk. Sorry, I'm what is it? Slow down. Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who the hell's that guy? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. More storybook characters... Living in papers and walls, paper stories. I put the dots together. I connected this, the lines into the color and the number, number, number colors. I did it. Uh, uh, oh, a mystery. I had to move the microphone there. Sorry. Looks like he went outside because he was hot and took off his jacket because it's hot. Or he's turned into some sort of animal. Oh, it's a head! No. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Prostitute. She looks familiar. She was a prostitute. Really? I never caught her real name. Oh. Yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just terrible. Uh, did you see anyone? It took me a Who second to realize what I was even did looking for. Did you see anyone? So, did you see anyone? From the way else? she's talking, I'm assuming no, she found it. No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no. I don't think so. I would remember. What about that guy we just saw? Big P. Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Am I actually timed? I got some room in my freezer. All right, uh, mouth. Huh. What is? Y you want to take it or what? <laughs> it's a fortune. It's no, it's a ribbon. A ribbon tied to a There's ring. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Uh. Let's see what the cut is like. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. And the eye head? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? I'm gonna head on and de Oh, hang on. I should investigate some more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. All right, let's keep investigating the area. There's blood over here. I want to take a look. Okay. Does that mean that they came from here? I want to touch the blood. I want to taste the blood. Drops touch it. Blood. Touch it. Touch it. Taste it. Lick it. It's been here an hour, maybe. All right. I don't know how I know that. But... Oh, I have a ring now. Uh, what is this? Scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. You want to just take it? Let's pick up everything we can take. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Uh, anything in the trash? Well, they definitely came from this area. Or left. There's some loose trash. Okay. Fence yep. post. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. It could be the killer's blood. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. All right. We don't want to go that way, apparently. I examined the trash can. Did I already examine the trash can? or did... You just said loose trash, right? I'm surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Okay, that was super interesting. Let me walk faster. So I remember I can walk faster. Alright, I can just go inside. Don't go anywhere. I don't think there's going to be anything over here. No. Maybe there's something in the grass. Nah. Um, alright. Compare fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Uh How did this happened. I don't know. Why her? Silence. It's just so... Keep talking. Awful. Okay. I guess I'll have to trust you on this one. Yes, leave her unsure. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just Don't be tell worse him. if he finds that we held it from him. Don't tell him. It'll just complicate things. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. He's the mayor. Deputy mayor. The position's a joke. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. I'm a lone wolf. Alright. I'm not allowed to pick really terrible options Crane's right now. Crane's not what's important right now. I did we what need I to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I'm gonna pin the murder on whoever I don't like. I don't care who did it. Alright, didn't I left her unsure and I told her not to say anything. That should help. Alright, who are you freaks? What's up? What are you blind? What? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? Who's that guy supposed to be? Fucker. I Crane. Ichabod Crane. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? 
Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? See, even Bigby agrees with me. As incompetent as he is. <laughs> Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, the woodsman. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. Okay. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. <laughs> I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? <laughs> I like how he hesitated a bit Forget with that it. line. I can't do anything right. For my own massage. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> Damn it. Snow, what the hell? You would have just pissed him off more. That was what I wanted to do. Right. <laughs> it was the point. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. Absolutely. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Uh, what's the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Yeah, gross. What are you? Let's take it. Let's drink it. Yes! Lufkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Most certainly. Come on, let him have it. Give me an option. Let me start with Buffkin. Buffkin, How are you favorite today, best Mr. character Baby? now. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm going to be friends with him. I'm not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. I like Buffkin. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? Oops, sorry. The ones with all the fables in it. I know, I could have told him to screw specific. off. But... Bring the first three. Be back oh. in a few minutes. I like him. I want him. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <gasps> mirror, mirror on the wall. You really have to get this appointment squared away, but the let me know if you need anything. Socialist. Anti-socialist, if that's not what I meant to say. No Apparently, I'm an anti-socialist. No. Anti-socialist with an e pretty much just EST. After the genie's been freed. Not an IST. Okay, nice. Yes, cool. Right. Great. Um, let's look for something with the symbol on it. Can we talk to the mirror? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just browse around first. Oh, you actually work here? Like, right beside him? Director, oh, you're the assistant. Is that a thing? No. Alright, there's not a lot here. I, it's just the mirror. You're actually the assistant, eh? Yes, okay, can I, I get mean, over here? I question it only to do it now. Alright, hang on. What's Excessive. this? Look at the desk. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. And... I'll be sure to let him know. 
Keep going. Strength. The tower. And. And. Strength, tower, and ten of swords. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Oh, let's take it. It's ours now. Mine. Mine. My cards. Now I'm going to sprint over here. That's my sprint button. Look at the mirror. Tell me something about it. Ooh, what a handsome wolf. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. It's not how mirrors work, but There's okay. no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right, how about the uh, woodsman? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay, what about Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. Hey, <laughs> put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Snow? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Snow White. Show me again. Snow White. Not much of a request. Oh, okay. I was hoping that there would be something She's else. She's in this very room. You can't skip. All right, I'm done with this. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. That didn't run. All right, Buffkin. <laughs> well, I'm uh, sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. I love Buffkin. Buffkin the best. And he doesn't have any genitals, which is very cool. I like that. See, that's the cool thing about not having genitals. You don't gotta wear pants. All right, what do we got here? Book of Fables. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay. Let's see. That's a me. That's you. Those are dwarves. They're evil. Uh, we got beauty and the beast. We got the three pigs. Oh, hello. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Alright, but I want to read some more of this. Uh, three piggies. Colin and his brothers. Colin. <laughs> beast. Yeah, okay. Beauty and the Beast. Uh... Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, it's a short story anyway. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. 
Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. Well, he's been chained chased by the, 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 the headless horseman. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yes. Let's destroy him. Okay, we get all of them? All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and, and there's actually like texture to it when the where it goes down and the camera moves. Um, there's like form to it. That's good. All right, back out. What do we got? Uh, can I talk to either of you, Buffkin or Snow? No. No Snow. Ad Patrios Vic Vitrum Soleas. Um, so that's glass slipper. Ad Patrios. I don't know what that to the Patrios. I don't know what that means. Um, this looks like Norse mythology. No. Druid. Um, I can't actually read because it's so. Sh okay, hang on. Let's take. Okay, there's the ring, first of all. I just wanted to take a look at this. Um, it's all in Latin, which is weird. So. The Fables went to this world and ended up here in Fable Town. Uh, this book is written in Latin, which is kind of weird. Um, I mean, the time frame for that would be. I mean, the time frame for that could be anything. Latin was used. I, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time thinking about it. Gladium Vorpal, that's the Vorpal Sword. I know Gladium. Gladius, is it Gladium, really? I thought, no, it should, it should be Gladius for sword, right? Uh, Pat, it, the, it's too scribbly for me to actually read. I know a little bit of Latin, but not very much. Um, let's, let's say that. Great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Hey. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. Oops, no. Anything here? Yes. The, uh... What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. Okay, I don't believe that, but okay. I'll try it out. Bufkin. Trying toad. Help him get his glamour. Uh, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Wait, hang on. Was there anything over here? No, I didn't think so. All right, so here's what I'm looking for. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. All right, please do. Alerlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. A 
And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than... Her name we... was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. All right, I want to finish reading this quick. Take a look. It's in a book. Weird fables. Oh, that's it? Okay, never mind. And we have uh, bow and arrow. Ignota possessor. Ignota possessor. Hmm. I know the word sagitas means arrow. Hence, you know, Sagittarius and such. Again, my, my, my Latin is not the greatest. I only got to level 5, uh, level like 16. On, uh, hang on. You know what this means? On a Wheelock's Latin. Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Okay, cool. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? I actually worked. I would like to know of, uh, let's see, faith. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Okay, show me Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. All right, very dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. All right, let's show me Prince Lawrence. It's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Okay, he's been murdered. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If Do you think he was prince, across uh, the, the pit? Probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Hmm. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, let's go, Snow. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Oh. Sorry, I have to get that. Okay, get it. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Okay. Bigby! It's me, Toad. You there? Yeah. Glamour. Toad. Got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B. Shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. Here we go. Out the door. Mean Snow. I told you not to tell Ichabod. She told him a second later. You're almost as bad Did as Toad me. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> the Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We're gonna go to Toad's apartment. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. 
We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. I'm pretty sure that Prince Lawrence is dead, okay. so... I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. No, no, he's super dead. But the sword might be gone by the time we get there. Wait, is it morning now? And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Did we uh, walk here? Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Always return to the scene of the crime. Let's not say anything. Wait here. Huh? Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. much of a mess should probably get that fixed I just want to take a little look around here no that's not important here we go no lollipop damn it that's not important all right hang on leave nothing important there who is crying Hello. Is that his son? Oh, I thought it was a girl. I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Can we kick the door in? Enter. Let's just enter. Hello. Baby! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Bricklebit, Bricklebit, Bricklebit. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. I Sorry saw for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Phew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. So you hid something in the upholstery, huh? All right, what's going on here, huh? Smash lamp. How this happen? Fucking hell! Damn thing must have fell off a table. Oh yeah, I'm uh, sure that's how it happened. The lamp just fell off the table. The well, legs boy was puffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Hmm. Go 
and the plugs are all there, so it didn't come from over here. Those are plugged in. The, the, there's two plugs here. So we definitely, the lamp definitely came from somewhere else. Oh, look at that. Blood stain. Well, that's concerning, isn't it? You bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me hand. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. That's bloody. Just cut yourself, eh? Cut yourself on the fire poker. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Okay. If you're you gonna thought? say something, out with it. I thought you cut your hand. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think no crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Just hiding nothing. something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. Nothing, but yeah. I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. He would have come out with it if I just... He would have come out with it, I think, if I just... if I just been silent. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the window, so... What's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. All right, is there anything else to look at? Hang on, there was a uh, something on the table there. There's a mark over here too. Yep. What you mean? Came from. There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something. I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Let's be silent. Oh, that didn't do anything. Alright, hang on. Now we're gonna see this. And then we'll be able to piece it all together. Why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building.
Then why climb why'd in the window? Why'd you climb in through the window then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face? And you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. Start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You lied, Toad. Threatened Toad. I cut me end. I broke the lamp. I can go silent. I forgot my key, so I climbed the sill. What do we There's do? There's no more story to tell, mate. Hmm. I'm gonna threaten him. <laughs> This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Pigby, is this really necessary? Oh. Yeah, he... What is it? Is it He's her? hiding something. He's hiding something something he knows or something he's kept but I won't play any more games with him dad oh my god take off your hat Pigby you didn't he didn't <sighs> it was that butcher a, a tweedle dumb or D. you gotta strip him down to the Johnnies before you can tell which is which he come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? Do you know what he was looking for? What? I have no idea. I would have told Snow? you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? <laughs> I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Donkey skin! No, I wouldn't wear it outside. <laughs> Wait. Oh, what's that? Hello. Mysterious object. It's an envelope. Oh, mysterious. Of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Open it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya.
I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we wanted, didn't we? We got what we came for. Some information. See? It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. All right. Hopefully it's saving there. Okay. And in the next episode, we're going to visit Lawrence's apartment and make some more terrible decisions. I don't want to stay decisions. here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay, we're going to be real mean. Just humor me. All right. But we're going to do that in the next episode of um, The Wolf Among Us. And uh, at a certain point, we're also going to read these Book of Fables, but I just want to, like, get into the story a bit before we read through the Book of Fables, okay? Um, maybe we'll do that in the next episode at the end, um, after we get some more Fables, because they're not too long. Um, they do go down a bit here. If, if we click in, we can see. If I click here, you can scroll down, but it doesn't seem to be, like, that much at any point. So, uh, we'll go through some of these... Yeah, okay, no, we have some good rows now, so we'll do these, okay? So we'll do that in the next episode, probably at the end. All right, does that sound cool? All right, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Dexter, and uh, let's make some more um, mean decisions, because we're playing Bad Cup. All right, see you in the next episode. Bye.